Hi everyone, welcome back to another vlog. Hope you all are doing well and staying safe. My last few vlogs were about cargo unpacking and it still continues. I want everything to be well organized, hence I'm not rushing to just unpack without checking the space to be organized. I had told in my previous vlog that I have a new crockery shelf built and the one that I made was given to one of our friends in Riyadh. However, I did have a small cabinet I used to keep some crockery in Riyadh. It was unscrewed and packed in the cargo, so I'm just unpacking all the bits and bobs the cargo team had packed. So these are the nuts and bolts and other parts of the cabinet. If you have been watching me for a while, you might know that I love fixing furnitures. Every time we get a new furniture, there would be an instruction book on how to fix it step by step, be it from IKEA or anywhere else. But this time didn't have the book, so I had to guess and fix. This one was bought from soup.com in Riyadh. It would have been easy if it was from IKEA, as they did have the instructions to fix it on their app. This duster is microfiber, bought from Amazon and it's doing the job really good. Easy to clean the window grills as well. Shall link it in the description box. This tiny screwdriver, whatever it is called, comes along with the fittings and I had saved it in case I needed it and I did need it now. And that's complete. I had some beef left in the freezer and wanted to prepare beef pasta with it. The sister who helps me in the kitchen doesn't eat or cook beef, hence on this day I prepared dinner. These days I eat early dinner so I started preparing for it an hour after lunch. This was prepared in large quantity as we had parents and siblings at home. I shall give the details in the description box accordingly and you may adjust it as per your need. You can prepare the same with chicken or lamb. Here I am using a pressure cooker to cook the meat. I heated a mix of ghee and vegetable oil. Do saute the crushed ginger, garlic and shallots. Let it turn light brown or you may fry a bit. Then add sliced onion. I had taken a total of 4 large onions. 
Out of this slice 3 and the fourth one we'll use later for tempering. Slice few green chilies. Let the onion be really soft. I had only two large tomatoes in my fridge at that time. I would have added one more if I had. Mix well and let the onion and tomatoes go really soft. Some of you had suggested me not to keep spice powders in steel containers, especially red chilli powder. So far there isn't any issue on using the containers. My mom has been storing in steel containers from a very long time. I think the damage happens depending on the quality of the steel that they have used. These containers were bought by my mom from a local shop. These are again containers of 10 kilo quantity, that's from Amazon. I bought these for storing rice that we use for cooking. This is a cup that comes along with the container. I forgot to switch on my camera while adding red chilli powder, then add turmeric powder and coriander powder. Add the spice powders only after the onion and tomatoes have gone really soft. That's crushed black pepper powder and garam masala powder. Mix till the raw smell goes. Add beef pieces that's cut in small pieces. As I said, you may add chicken or lamb pieces as well. Adding just a glug of water. Cover the cooker, lock the pressure, keep on high flame till the first whistle. After the first whistle, turn the flame to sim or low. Cook for 15 minutes. Usually for curries, I cook for 20 minutes. But here, I'll be cooking the rest with the pasta. Hence, keeping only for 15 minutes. Turn off the flame after 15 minutes. Whistle might or might not come, it doesn't matter. The remaining one onion, I'm chopping into small for tempering. using a large pot to cook the pasta along with the meat. Adding more hot water to the gravy to cook the pasta. Some salt. When it boils, add the pasta. Keep the flame on low and cover the pot.
Meanwhile, for tempering, add two three tablespoons of ghee or oil, whichever. Add the chopped onion and let it fry. Don't forget to mix the pasta in between and make sure you have hot water ready so that you can add if needed. To the onion, add grated coconut. Add red chilli powder, turmeric powder, coriander powder and garam masala powder. Let the coconut roast till brown and then add to the pasta. Now if you want, you can grind the coconut to a paste in a mixer. I am just adding as such for getting that crunch of the coconut. Mix well, let it boil for a minute. When the gravy is a bit thick, switch off the flame. It would get more thick as it sits, so do not cook till dry. That's Arman's new friend from the neighborhood and it's lovely to see kids playing together. It was dinner time. So that ends for today's vlog. Hope you enjoyed. Do try the pasta and let me know your feedback. If possible, do give a thumbs up so that I know you love today's video. Stay safe everyone. See you with more vlogs. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.